Mm. I wish that limo driver would quit honking. Grand and Vicky's wedding won't begin for a few hours yet. Well, they probably plan to seat the guests early. It helps when you're doing an elaborate security check. <sighs> How romantic. First we get scanned and frisked, and then we toast the bride and groom. There you go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Frankie, thank you. you know that Grant can't afford to take any chances. If you ask me, the marriage is the biggest risk. Well, they both want it. Mm, let's see. Listen, we better hurry because this secret location could be a goodly distance from Bay City. Here's your purse. Another reason not to go. What? I want to stay home, Cass. The whole world has turned white just for you and Grant. Oh, Mother, please, you're getting all mushy on me. Stop. Now, Victoria. Victoria, the mother of the bride. Now, she does deserve some very special privileges. Yep. And as for the snow, that is a very good sign. You always say that when we go to a wedding. You say yes. the weather is a sign. If it's raining, you say it's raining blessings down on the bride of the groom. And if it's sunny, you say it's shining good fortune down on the bride yes, of the groom. Right. Put your earrings on before your hands start to shake. What is the rush? I'm like a rock. All I have to do is jump in my dress. Oh, I'll go get it. Oh, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Come and get yes, the cake. I will. I'm on my way. Here we go. <laughs> There's not a speck of lasted or coal dust on you, is there? Looks like you're going to finally get what you want. Well, how do you feel? <laughs> I've never been happier or more certain of anything, Dad. Now, that's just how I felt when I married your mother. <sighs> Excuse me, Senator. Michael Hudson is here to see you. The father of the bride managed to tear himself away from Hawaii for a day. <laughs> I'm amazed. Dad, please, uh, not on my wedding day, all right? All right. Send him in, Alistair. Give us a few minutes alone, Dad. I'll check with security. Make sure we have an all clear. Good. Hello, Michael. Spencer. Mm -hmm. Come in, Michael. Grant, you and I need to talk before you and Victoria go through with this marriage. The clock is ticking, right? Ticking, ticking. Come on, do something about it. I never said that I didn't care about her. You still love Victoria, don't you? Of course you do. Come on, now do something about what? it. What? What should I do? What you do? The notes, the threats, the firecrackers? No, I don't think so. You still think it's me, don't you? Oh, yeah. Everything you just said proves it to me. The truth is, is you don't want Vicky to marry Grant, and you'll do anything you can to stop it. Not quite. It's true that parents will do almost anything to protect their children. Well, don't. I can take care of everything myself. How would that were true? Remember everything I've said. The, the answers are somewhere in there. Ryan. I do love you, lad.
There's only one thing I need to know. Do you love my daughter? Oh, with all my heart. Well, you better. Because total commitment is the only kind of love that Victoria understands or trusts. She's the center of my universe. Keep her there. I plan to. Michael, Victoria's the only woman I've ever met who shares my deepest fears and ambitions. We're the perfect team. We support and challenge each other. She's going to be your wife, Grant, not your vice president. No. What I'm trying to tell you is that she's my equal or more in every area. I never knew what was missing from my life until I met her. And what was that? The joy of being alive. Maybe, maybe that's why I never married before. Marriage is tough. But if you are kind and you are honest, you have a chance of, of making this work. I know this, Michael. Victoria's grown to love me, and we get stronger every day we're together. Well, I'm glad that you are so certain of that. Victoria certainly seems to be convinced that you are going to make a wonderful husband and father. She trusts me, Michael. Maybe one day you will, too. Well, maybe this is a beginning. So tell me, Vicky, you gonna give me something special? What, you wanna tape me in my bedroom? Well, you can't get any more exclusive than that, can you? Jake, you don't have to help the supermarket tabloids trash me, what thank are you. What talking about? Big stars do little chats in their dressing rooms. That's what you wanna do? You wanna have a little chat? Yeah, I was hoping for something sincere and sensitive, you know, like the bride reflects on a future a couple of hours before it changes. Forever. All right, well, that's different. Okay, we're rolling. Why don't you tell us about this top secret wedding and reception? Well, that part's a secret, and then the part after that is a secret just for me. But um, never before has a bride been so romanced or pampered the way I have. And I found a man who, who loves me to death and, and doesn't put any limits on me. Listen, we all wish you and the Senator the best, but public life can strain even the best relationships. Well, actually, we've already, uh... We've already weathered that hurricane. So how do you think you're going to take being a Senator's wife? Well, um, I, I was his aide, and now I'm his partner. So it just keeps on getting better Jake. and better. What are you um, doing in here with that camera? It's a KBAY wedding special. How dare oh, you? On. She's only half. She didn't mind, Donna. And so you took advantage of her. I well, told you I, she wasn't feeling good. Right. Yes, wait a minute. I, I don't mind if people see me as a real person. It's okay it with me. I, I, uh, this is a little bit too real. It's very yes, dangerous. So maybe we can get a peep at this wedding. No, 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 no. You will wait like everyone else until oh. Victoria hey, walks down the aisle. Got enough footage anyway, aren't I right? bet you do. Listen, thanks a lot, Vicky. You've been a great help. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Jay. No, do you want? Let's get some footage of of. Grant's future mother-in-law. Oh, no, Jake, oh, stop, oh, it. Oh, I mean, Jake oh, stop it. Stop it. Have, no, this is here. You get out of here. You're just upsetting this Donna. Donna. Okay, you think this is for keeps? Well, I've always thought that Ryan was Victoria's true love. Yeah, well, I thought the same thing about Martha. Well, because he always, you know, I mean, he always brought up the best, you know. But don't let me go on like that, because I made myself promise that I wouldn't go over all my doubts again. Is that efficient? Have you been taking me on that? No, your secret is safe with me. Remember, it's not over until the lady in white sings. Oh, you get on. Oh, go. Ah, finally. He has such gall. Oh, no. Wouldn't surprise me if he tried to photograph you in the bathtub if he could. Oh, no. Jake would never do anything to hurt Victoria. I mean, he's struggling very hard to, to find his own way. Whose side are you on? Well, I'm on Victoria's always. No matter what happens. <laughs> that's the way I want it always to be. Yes, well, that's the way it's going to be. Yes. So, now I think you better get dressed. Are you ready to become a bride, dear? Why don't you want to go? Because Ryan is my friend and this wedding is hurting him. 
And you know, the only wedding I really feel like celebrating is ours, because at least I'll know that one's on the level. The neighbors are going to kill us. Okay, or him. all right, I'll get rid of them, okay? Thank you. You may go! Go! Okay, he's gone. Okay. So here we are, all dressed up and no place to go. Suppose we have our own party. Just the two of us? Well, we could call Christy and Douglas and throw together an informal dinner. Oh, well, that sounds good, but do you yeah. think he'll be well enough? Only one way to find out. to convince the two of you to come over here for dinner. Oh, I don't know. Douglas isn't having a very good day. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Would you rather make it another time? Oh, no, no. I'd really like an excuse to get out, actually. Um, why don't we make it a threesome, and I just won't stay long. Should you leave him? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm only going to be a phone call away. You sure? No, just give me a few minutes to, to get him settled, and I'll be right over. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye. Christina. Who does it? I didn't see you. That's the parent. Why did you just lie to Mary Frances? Christina, you implied that I was feeling much worse than I am. Well, Douglas, can you honestly say that if you went out, you wouldn't be tired? That's not the point. Why are we arguing? We both know that you haven't been strong since I took you to the hospital a few weeks ago. You're going to see that new man today, aren't you? That's the real reason why you wanted me to stay at home. I told you he's out of town. You told me other things. Oh, I hate it when you doubt me. I'm going over to Mary Frances's house, Douglas. That's it. Will you be telling her all about him? Will you meet him after you leave her place? You know, I'm sorry I ever mentioned this to you. You couldn't have kept it from me even if you wanted to. You look like a woman in love again. You're projecting that. I'll always love you, Douglas. Always. Then stay here and tell me what you're feeling. How can I do that without hurting you? Don't you know that your happiness is all I care about? That's what we need to discuss. But I told Mary Frances I'd go over there. I'd... Then call and tell her you've changed your mind. She'll understand. But I haven't changed my mind. And I'd rather keep my word. I'd prefer you stayed. I can't. Not this time. Christina! Will you be back for dinner? Way before then. Promise. I promise. And we'll talk. All you like. Like it's some kind of a failure or something. I mean, what am I, behind on my nail biting? Well, what? I'm just amazed at how detached you are. It has to be when you don't fit in anywhere. Oh, darling. You're so precious to me. I just wish every wedding came with a happily ever after guarantee. Grant and I are going to make that happen. Sure. Yes. Yes? Yes! Oh, come on. Don't I have a wedding to get ready for? Bridget, I'm ready to put my dress on. Don't you have to get ready? Yes, I just wanted to wait till you were finished. 
Hudson Slay has arrived. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, Brian. Hey, hey. Michael. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Uh, I feel a little awkward. I don't know what to say. I never pictured Vicky's wedding to go quite like this. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Yeah, are, are you going to stand up for your brother? No, my father is. Everybody seems a little bit more comfortable with it that way. Besides, I've, I've got enough to do making sure I find out who's threatening my brother. I heard there was another threat today. You got any leads? Matter of fact, I think I'm finally on this guy's track. You don't expect something to happen at the wedding? No, I don't. I'm going to make sure of it. Oh, Michael, you're still here. Yeah, Spencer, and uh, you better get used to seeing a little bit more of me now that we're going to be family. You know, I still haven't forgotten how you almost cost Grant the election. And throwing all of that money behind the incumbents. You know, I got a really good memory, too. But I'm willing to put all of our differences aside for Victoria's sake. You willing to do the same thing for Grant? For Grant. Oh, look at you, Bridget. Oh, this is beautiful. And Grant has ordered a sleigh to pick you up. Yay! Oh, my. Grant likes to spoil me. All right, everybody, come on, huddle up here. Oh. Mm. Wish me luck. Oh, darling, I wish you love. God bless you, Victoria. Okay. Here you go, darling. Don't forget your love. you're ready. Come on, Dad. We still have over an hour. Not anymore, we don't. Vicki Slay is arriving earlier than we expected, and there's no one at the carriage house to meet her. What? The Fed who was supposed to be there was reassigned by Parker. Well, then pull somebody else in. From where? Billy Cooper's men are assigned to this house, to Vicky's house. Okay. The guests are being screened. All right, all right. So what about the Feds? But they're all in a coordinated stakeout. Now, I can't tamper with that. Dad, are you telling me that there's no one else who's available? There's you. No, I don't think so. Ryan, all you have to do is to make sure that Vicky gets into the carriage house safely. Yeah, for crying all. out loud, there's security crawling all over the place. But you're the only one that Grant and I can trust. No! Ryan, I'd go there myself, but I don't have any training. And if something should go wrong, well, well, you'd be the only one to know what to do if Vicky was hurt or something went wrong. That's right, I would know what to do. Is it too much to ask, Ryan? It's a lot. So I guess Vicky's going to be dressed for the wedding, hmm? Well, yes, yes, I imagine so. Boy, I'm sure she's going to love this as much as I will. Oh, I know, I know. It's bound to be a bit awkward. A bit? Ryan, Vicky needs you now, whether you know it or not. All right, I'll go. Thank you. Now you'd better hurry. She's already left her house. Come on. Christy. Hey, what is it? Oh, just... What is it? It's Douglas, isn't it? I'm very Francis. My heart is breaking for him. He insisted that I come alone. Because he feels guilty. If he thinks he's keeping me from things. And then I feel guilty because I'm leaving him alone. And it's just... Honey, it's a no-win situation. I know. Douglas is just so selfless, and I... It's just not fair. Well, why don't we take the party there? 
because I think he'd probably be sleeping by now, really. Uh, why, why don't you stay here and relax for a while, then? I'll give it my best shot. Good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You look like you jumped off a wedding cake. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, we were going over to see Grant Harrison get married, but... Frank, you thought we'd have a better time rehearsing our own little trip down the aisle. Oh, my God, that's right! It's only in two weeks. <laughs> yes, yes, and I haven't told you that tango step yet. Oh, wait, well, for now? Well, if not now, when? <laughs> she has a point there. Really? I'll put on some music. Okay. <laughs> We can just start with the basics, okay? No, wait, 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 wait. You guys are the experts. You dance first and I'll watch. Are you sure? Hey, it's the way you taught me the freak and the bump when we were in high school. Well, we can't mess with, uh, with success, can we? Oh, you lead on horror. Coming up. You ready? Oh, yes. Oh, my heart. <laughs> I just talked to Parker. He tells me you're double checking the security yourself. Are you satisfied? Oh, Dad, how the hell can I be satisfied? I'm convinced more than ever that this note is personal. Listen to this. Time is running out. You won't make it to your wedding night. Don't think you can't out outsmart me by changing locations. I'll find you anywhere. This, this has to be someone I know. It makes my blood run cold. Nothing. Nothing is going to prevent me from marrying the woman I love. So whoever sent that note seems determined to try. Well, Dad, I'm not changing my plans. I don't care who I have to fight to make this happen. In just a few hours, Victoria is going to be my wife.
You have never looked more beautiful. Would you bring me inside, Ryan? Jackson is standing waiting for you for all day or Roger what? Jackson is the least of my worries right now. Oh, that... Hey, what's going on? What's oh, keeping you? Michael, what are you doing here? What do you mean what am I doing here? I got my limo outside. I'm gonna take us to the wedding. We're gonna oh. pick up Stephen on the way. We are? Yes. Um What Vicky didn't tell you? No. No, but I go get my wrap and I'll meet you at the car. Well, I must say, you are the most beautiful mother of the bride I think I've ever seen. Well, thank you. <sighs> all right, well. We don't want to keep your date waiting. My date? Michael, we both know that you didn't come to Bay City alone. Mm. No, I came with Rayette. Rayette? Mm -hmm. Rayette, a great co-pilot, but not really my type. Do you mean... Yes, it, Don it, Donna, Donna, Donna. I'm... I want to go to this wedding with you. Well... Your chariot awaits, madam. What are we Come waiting right for? Way. Thank you. You're too much. <laughs> all right, Dad, we've got to talk. There's not much time. Is Vicky all right? She's fine. Scars all over the carriage house. It's this wedding, Dad. It's insane. Ryan, what is it? wedding it could destroy all of our lives now, would, would you hate me would you think that I was Carl's son after all if I decided to stop this wedding I wouldn't hate you Ryan I'd help you. that's not what I'm asking for it would mean turning your back on Grant I know what it means are you ready Ryan If you're gonna stop this wedding, you'd better do it now. You bastard! You were the one! You underestimated me, Dad. See, that was your first mistake. Do you really think that I wouldn't figure this whole thing out because I'm not stupid? I just couldn't picture you trying to ruin Grant's marriage. I'd never do that. Do you think that I would think that some, some crime lord was going after Grant? What about Carl? Oh, Have you ruled him Carl, out? Carl, you were too much. See, he figured out that you were using him as a cover. I checked, Dad. Carl was never down in Jamaica. That was some elaborate smokescreen that you put together. What kind of a monster are you? What kind... How could you terrorize your own family? Ryan, would you please listen to Look, me? Look, these are the prints that I got from the, from the video footage from the New Year's Eve ball. Here, look. Here you are, standing right next to the spot where Grant was going to speak. Right next to the spot where the, where the M-80 blew up and drenched Grant in fake blood. And Oh, and here's a really good one. What's, what's, what's the guy giving you in the package, Dad? Or maybe I should just guess. This isn't evidence. This isn't evidence. Carl's brainwashed you, son. He has. There's more, Dad. There's more. I checked. I checked with Parker. 
He wasn't the one who reassigned the security on Vicky. You did. Why would I do that? I don't know. Suppose you tell me. Because I'm kind of worn out from trying to read your mind. Come on, Dad. Are you just going to stand there and lie to my All face? All right. All right. All right. It was me. Why? Because this wedding is a disaster. And all three of you are too pig-headed to see it. Ryan, your lives are going to be ruined. Oh. So now you can see the future. I can see what's obvious, Ryan. I was trying to give you and your brother and Vicky a chance for real happiness. Don't you see, son? I, I was doing this out of love. Love. You don't know the first thing about love. You didn't do this for Grant or for Vicky or for me. You did it for yourself. Some of your henchmen recognized me from your place, so they said it was okay. Fine, come on in. Maybe it'll help pass the time if we just shoot the breeze. Wow. <laughs> What's with you? You are way ahead of schedule. Yeah, well, Grant wouldn't relax until I got here safely, so, uh, place filling up? Are you kidding me? I ever see it in the house. I mean, it's a regular blue blood fest. Getting some good shots? Thanks. My producer's gonna be kissing my feet. She loves this, uh, society angle. <laughs> Great. Beautiful. You okay? Yeah. Sure. Why, why wouldn't I be? For tons of reasons. I mean, this... Marriage deal is a real leap of faith. Not that I'm second-guessing your decision. What are you doing? Vicki, I was... filming you when you... came in on the sleigh. Oh, I know. <laughs> that was pretty incredible, wasn't it? I am telling you, I was totally flying! <laughs> I caught the moment when you came back to Earth. What? I had a high-powered lens on the camera. And I saw the way that you and Ryan looked at each other when he helped you out, and the world just seemed to drop away. Uh, you didn't... you didn't tape that, did you? I didn't know it was going to be that heavy. No, 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 wait a minute. You've, you've got to get rid of that, because that would just what are you crush to? Grant. You... you erase it? That's dynamite stuff. Jake, I mean, look, it's exactly what, what KBA wanted. What do I have to do, huh? Beg you? Get rid of it. I mean, if it's that important to you, it's gone. Thank you. You're wired. All right, look, I know what you think you saw. It's just old feelings, that's all. You say so. Ryan made his choice. Moved on. Of course, not before he made me feel like a total failure. I got it. Jake Grant accepts me. Just me, for myself. He deals with it. Come on, it's just like... Paulina does with you. You told me she makes you feel that way. You did. You know. I do. Yeah. Remember the way I was always letting Marley down? I mean, it was like this big black cloud was following me around saying, Jake screwed up again. Exactly. That part of me scared Marley, and I knew it. And no matter how hard I tried not to freak her out, it only seemed to make things worse. That's the way it was with me and Ryan. I belong with Grant. He doesn't want to hide behind the world. You know, he wants to give it to me on a gold platter. That's what I want to do for Paulina. Hmm. When are you going to marry her? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? This uh, ceremony of yours might just get me in the mood. I can't wait to get married. I just want everything to settle down a little bit so I can start living my life. I say go for it, Jake.
Look, uh, I better get out there so that I can get the best angle of you when you take your vows. Come on away, baby. Hey! Don't call me baby. nice to be able to come here, Cass. I really feel like I can let down my guard when I'm around you. Well, I hope so, Christy. Oh, I just don't want Douglas to know how concerned I am. He's, he's really starting to imagine things. He's so critical of me. Honey, I think maybe he just isn't feeling very well. Oh, I know. I don't want to put this on you. It's so beautiful. Hey, why don't we go out for a walk? Okay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, any luck? We can catch Frankie and Chomsky. Oh, great. Chomsky. Chomsky. You ready? Sure. <gasps> Greetings. Douglas, come, please, sit down. Let me take your coat. Okay, thank you. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. It's, uh, yeah. Been out of breath. Otherwise, completely intact. <sighs> my, oh, my cabbie was a bit of a throat kicker. You Doug took a taxi over here in your condition? Douglas, why didn't you call me? It's so much simpler this way. I thought I heard your voice. What? Oh, Mary Frances, you look stunning. And you, Counselor, cut quite a dashing figure. Were you all going out? No, they were going to a wedding, and then they canceled. Douglas, I'm going to make you some tea. You look frozen. No, no, the tea can wait. I've come to tell you something. About Christina. Okay. I was ready, but then Lord Leslie told me I couldn't sit down in my dress. I just took it off. Huh. Uh, look, you'll be happy to know that I spoke to Grant today. You did? Mm-hmm. Was it weird? <sighs> well, let's just put it this way. He said all the right things. <sighs> Honey, he's crazy about you. Um, look, he... Your mother cried our entire second wedding. Was it the second, second wedding? Second wedding. Felicia cried more than anybody. Right. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh. I love you both for being here. Together. Well, who knows? We may do this again sometime soon. Oh? Well, yeah, for Marley and Dennis. Oh. 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 If Tony F, the bridesmaids are here, and there's a van out there, and he wants to see you. Who is he? Well, you just have to wait and see, dear. Ah! Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to make you so happy. <laughs> you wouldn't listen to reason. You forced my hand. Oh, don't you dare blame what you just did on Grant or me. Dad, you terrorized Vicky and Stephen for weeks. You see, it is Vicky that you care about, isn't it? Of course it? I care about Vicky. But that doesn't mean that I want to control her life. You're a fool, Ryan. You're an even bigger fool than I ever and was. You're still as manipulative and domineering as you've ever been. You still think that you know what I want in my life better than yes, I do? Yes, in this case, yes, I do. 
I've watched you, Ryan. Carl may be your natural father, but you're as unforgiving with Vicky as I was with your mother. You, you, you literally pushed her into Grant's arms. Oh, I see. So now, so now Vicky doesn't have, have, have a chance to make a choice for herself either. Was everybody a puppet in your world, Dad? Don't think what you want about me, but look inside yourself, son. Come on. I can't manipulate love. It either is or it isn't. And Vicky's love for you was stronger than it's ever been. Just shut up, Dad. Just shut up! A few minutes ago, you said you were ready to stop the wedding. That's right. That's right, because I was testing you. Testing me? Oh, no, no. A part of you wants to stop no, me, No, you're wrong. Who's lying now? Do you really think that I would humiliate my own brother? That I would stab him in the back? If you're honest, it doesn't matter what you do. As long as you don't lose Vicky, what you feel for her isn't going to disappear, Ryan. It's going to haunt you for the rest of your life. If she's not in your bed, she'll be oh, in your dreams. For God's sake, Dad! Ryan, Ryan, it's not too late. Vicky isn't Grant's wife yet. I can't hear any more of this. Listen to me. Yeah, Go to her, Ryan. Right. Go to... Sir, Ryan and I needed to talk. <clears throat> About what? What the hell is going on here?